Oh, as usual, again this week, we learned you never know what you're going to see out there in the water as we saw some very wild times and some very wild things occur during this week. Kind of like this image here, and we'll get back to this one, but welcome crew to this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. Our first story to make the boating news this week actually is going to take us over to Seattle, Washington. Yes, I know that 92-foot Viking being stuck on the beach down in Florida was a huge story, but it's nowhere near as wild as the images we're about to witness on what happened over in Seattle. These images show Elliott Bay, and what you see in the background is a massive container barge carrying over 200 containers. What you don't see is this barge hooked up to a tug, and that's because it's not. The barge was actually docked at one of the Port of Seattle's container facilities over at Terminal 18, when all of a sudden high winds rose into the area, causing this barge to actually snap its mooring lines and set adrift across the bay. Once local officials were alerted to the incident, they quickly jumped into action, actually issuing the evacuation order of several buildings along the Seattle waterfront, including the Seattle Aquarium. But due to the quick thinking of a local water taxi captain, disaster was averted as he was able to take his vessel and actually reposition it against the barge and change its course, diverting it from the aquarium toward Pier 66 in the breakwater, which caused the incident that we're about to witness right here. Unfortunately, due to the quick thinking actions of that captain, no injuries were reported in the incident and only minor damage occurred to the breakwater at Pier 66, completely saving the buildings along the Seattle waterfront. Also, no cargo appeared to fall from the barge, making it overall a pretty good scenario that could have gone bang quickly. After it came to rest against the breakwater, three tugs came over and assisted in bringing it back to Terminal 115. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to bring us back down to Florida and those original images we saw at the beginning of the video. That's right, we're going to talk about the 92-foot Viking that found itself on a beach in Delray Beach, Florida this past week. As many of you have already seen, our good friend Wavy Boats has already put out a video about this incident, and that means we actually had boots on the ground. We had our camera crews with drones and everything down there covering the incident all the way through this vessel being pulled back off the beach. Look for that video to come out on his channel here shortly. But I've seen conflicting stories on what exactly happened here. The general synopsis, the stories seem to be similar in this aspect. The boat was traversing the ocean in eight foot seas, wound up losing power to both engines and then also losing power to its generator. Captain and crew spent about two hours trying to get power back together on the boat, and this can be confirmed with eyewitness reports of people we talked to on the beach who definitely said the vessel was adrift for several hours before it wound up beach. A last-ditch effort was made by the captain and crew to try and deploy the anchor, but it was unsuccessful and the boat wound up on the beach. The first real attempts to try and pull the boat out occurred around 2.30 a.m. the first night it was on the beach. The towboat crews were able to successfully get the bow pointed out to the ocean, but unfortunately were not successful in getting the boat off the beach. So they jumped into action the next day, making a plan of trying to lighten the load by going ahead and pumping all the fuel and water off of the boat. Once they were able to lighten the load, the towboat crews lined up for the next high tide and they were able to successfully get this vessel pulled off the beach. Now, where some of the conflicting stories come in this is exactly what the boat was doing. The story we were given by eyewitnesses on the scene was that this vessel was actually returning home from the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Now, while I can't 100% confirm that, what I can confirm is that Viking did have one of these boats at the show, and this hull color matches exactly to the hull color to the vessel that was there. However, I did not go inside the Viking booth. I did not see the stern of the vessel nor the name, but if you went to the show and saw it, is this that boat? Let me know in the comments below. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to the coast of the Philippines where this was the scene just a few days ago when around 11 o'clock in the morning the Philippine Coast Guard received notice that the freighter Ken had caught fire. The ship was anchored at a roadstead in Sorensen Bay just off the port. The Philippine Coast Guard quickly coordinated with local firefighters and they dispatched a patrol vessel to the scene. Once the crew arrived on the scene, they used a fire hose from the vessel in an attempt to suppress the blaze. After several hours of dousing it with water, the blaze was finally extinguished. Fortunately, in this situation, all eight crew members on board the Ken were accounted for and uninjured. After the incident, the crew members were interviewed in an attempt to try and determine what exactly caused the blaze. The crew members said that the blaze actually started down in the mess hall, but as we can see, that blaze quickly exploded, igniting all the way up into the crew cabins and finally knocking out the helm of the vessel as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening in your waterways, be sure to hit us up on Facebook or Instagram and let us know when you might see your stories over here, just like Julie Harmson, 
Jackson Teal and Fish MV Charters did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.